typing in Chinese, I need to focus. <laughs> So the funny thing about Chinese is the way you pronounce it. So for example, if you say uh, which means good morning, we're currently in Hong Kong. You type which is Z-A-O-S-H-A-N-G H-A-O So when you type, you basically just type those words out and then you get an option of characters. Come, let me show you. So for example, if you want to say Ma, and this is always a good one. You have the first ma, which is a question. Then you have the second ma, which is mum. Then you have another ma, and then you have another ma, which is horse. So this is exactly what happens with Chinese, where you have these different tones. So you would have four different tones for every single word, which is why it's so complicated. Right, so Wojtek and I are gonna go on a run. We were actually supposed to do the run at 7 a.m., but uh, we both had a bit of a slow morning. We got up around eight and then I just got seated behind my desk and you know, just powering through work, the usual. But um, yeah, we're gonna do the same run we did last time. We're un we'll end at the beach. We're gonna have some breakfast there as well. And then after that, uh, Wojtek is gonna pick up a new MacBook in the, at the Apple store in, in, in Causeway. We're going to Causeway Bay, yeah? Yeah. I'm from a place where these guys wanna kick ball Old school, play out of the back, no pressure Two evils, I think one lesser I can't mix business with pleasure And I live so close to the edge, it's 100% swayed, I don't do So I used to date this French girl And her dad has taught me a very valuable lesson Don't date French girls Don't date French girls Don't date French girls Don't date French girls And he actually said it in French And it went Life is not about waiting for the rain to stop it's about learning to dance in the rain. Now it's time for me to buy one as well, eh? <laughs> but we're visiting the Apple Store too often, eh? I'm getting myself a new one as well. Looking sharp, bro. Suiting up, it's my first suit ever. And now it's we, we need this proper suit, you know, with all the stuff that we're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at you, that. man, look at smooth, bro. <laughs> I look like the next Polish president. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll be looking uh, very fresh for the wedding, eh? All right, so it's 6 a.m. and we're about to head to the packaging factory. Drive us downstairs, we're gonna drive straight to China, to Dongguan to be exact and we'll be visiting the packaging factory and we're gonna shoot a complete separate video about us visiting the packaging factory we bought for the first time so I'll link that one in the description and uh, yeah, let's go to China bro <laughs> Ik mis jullie man. Ik kijk er zo naar uit om jullie te zien in India. Dat wordt echt niet normaal. So I just booked our tickets for uh, Shanghai. We have a uh, unexpected trip in Shanghai because there is a lot going on and we need to be on the ground. So not as uh, energetic and uh, still smiling, but uh, you know, as, as how I usually am, mainly because I'm just, uh, in all honesty, uh, under a lot of pressure. It's it's even been tough to just keep up with filming. Last thing I want to do is try and come across pity, but there's a lot of responsibility on my uh, shoulders right now. We're going through a pivot. There's so many moving parts. We're constantly traveling. We're going to Mumbai straight after we get back from China. But getting very little sleep um, because I'm just in one way so excited about everything that's going on and in one other way so overwhelmed with everything that is going on. It's just like a million and one things to think of and to do. We're dealing with such crazy legal infrastructure from setting up parent companies in Hong Kong, dealing with local Chinese entities and you know, paying tens of thousands of euros on l legal fees to, to just make sure everything is also legally correct. So it's, uh, it's a lot.
So Wojtek and I are flying to Shanghai today. Uh, I also just booked our tickets to India and we're currently on the road to visit one of my very first mentors. So we're driving to the peak, which is one of the most expensive parts in Hong Kong. So this person was my mentor when I was 16, when I first moved to Hong Kong. And I think, you know, for anyone watching, having a mentor can be a really good thing. You know, there's a lot of people that have already achieved very big things based of proven methods and, and, and knowledge that you can consume, but you've got to be very careful. Like I've had really good experiences, but also really bad experiences. I take that with me every day when I work with my team. So for example, Wojtek has been with me for the last two and a half years and everything that I knew was something that I struggled with when I was being mentored. Uh, I decided to do the opposite. Something that I did completely different was to make sure that my team is paid well uh, and that they're essentially getting paid to learn. Even though I see the potential, they're the potential themselves and I'm just helping them skip a few stones because one thing that I've seen happen is that mentors claim their mentees as like, you're successful because of me and I don't think that's the right way to go about training or teaching anyone anything. When you see potential in someone or when you know you have potential, find the right people that can accelerate your potential. And the truth is that you don't necessarily owe them. You're doing it yourself. They're just the ones who, who are helping you. And if you always act out of a, a position like that and you give without expecting back, I don't think there's gonna be friction as well in a relationship like, for example, how I have with someone like Wojtek. Boy. So what has it been like, man, to be mentored by me? The last two years. I mean, my life has changed like 180 degrees. What I quickly wanted to highlight is that I always admired certain things or like a certain life that I wanted to have. Uh, and like I looked up to certain people, the way they were doing things. It really changed for me when I just stopped like only looking at them, but then trying to, to become like as close as possible to those people to just learn from them. And that's what has basically happened. In the last two years, I was just trying to provide as much value to those people that I was looking up to. And then I just became very close with them. And when you're this close to someone like I'm with Daniel now, if you're 24 seven ne next to each other, you just learn so many things, like things that you wouldn't even imagine you could learn before. Everyday hustle like we. A week ago, we were in Shanghai. We hit 10k. Gonna hit 20k before we're in Shanghai. What the hell? Everyday hustle like we. I'm charging the chicken just for the verse. Yeah. I get in that kitchen. I could go to work. I go berserk. Yeah. Go out and get it. Secure the city. Can't sing like the Titanic. Just don't want my free band bandit. All right, so we just got to the gate and I just hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Congrats, bro. And, uh, thank you, man. We've came a long way, man. Yeah, dude, it's, uh, it's unreal, man. Yeah, thank you for everybody for the support. Oh, yeah, for real, man. We're currently at Hong Kong Airport. We're flying to Shanghai in, uh, in roughly 30 minutes and then uh, we'll uh, try and get a good night of sleep because we'll arrive quite late and then, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.